Today I want to talk about the main four elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and which crystals correspond with them. This is important because it will help you to figure out what type of energy you're trying to bring in and manifest more of in your life. For example, if you have too much water in your life, perhaps you're too emotional, overly emotional and sentimental and holding on to things, if you bring in some extra fire, it's going to spark your creativity and warmth and desire and just help you to let go and move towards the future. Or if you have too much air, you might be all over the place and too much up in your head. When you bring more earth crystals in, it will help to ground and stabilize you. So the element of air is about intellect. It's about perspective, communication, our breath, and the time of sunrise, and the direction of east. The color for air is yellow, and the crystals that are associated with air are turquoise, selenite, kyanite, sodalite, fluorite, angelite, and celestite. And the element of fire is about creativity, passion, motivation, drive, energy, our digestive system, and sexuality, the time of noon, and the direction of south. The colors associated with the element of fire are reds and oranges, and the crystals are amber, carnelian, fire agate, jasper, garnet, ruby, and sunstone. And the element of water is about emotions, compassion, empathy, wisdom, transformation, the tides, flow, our blood, the time of sunset, and the direction of west. Colors associated with the element of water are blues and aquas, and the crystals are amazonite, aquamarine, larimar, blue lace agate, emeralds, and Caribbean calcite. And the element of earth is about balance, harmony, grounding, stability, our physical bodies, the time of midnight, and the direction of north. Colors associated with the element of earth are browns, blacks, creams, and reds. And the crystals are moss agate, flower agate, merlinite, Botswana agate, green aventurine, black tourmaline, polychrome jasper, and bloodstone. So I hope that this simple guide will help you to figure out which type of energy you have too much of or you want more of and which crystals can help you to achieve that. Follow us for more informative crystal tutorials and sending you lots of love and crystal blessings. Bye.